Okay, let us discuss and continue the nature and effects of obligation, starting with Article 1166, 1167, and 1168. We'll be discussing three of these articles in this video. So first is Article 1166. The obligation to give a determinate thing includes that of delivering all of its accessions and accessories, even though they may not have been mentioned. So these things, let's try to refresh a bit what is a determinate thing. A determinate thing is something more specific compared to an indeterminate thing, which only shows its genus and its species. For a determinate thing, it's something as specific as a car is has a Honda, is a Honda its license plate is B1164SKA. It's that specific. So for this car analogy, let's say that you are being delivered a car. Now, you should also be delivered the accessories, which are the tire, which are perhaps it's the spare tools that's needed. Perhaps it's also gas because that's also required to drive a car. So even though in the contract, it doesn't say these things, they are also required. Once again, I'm not a car expert. I'm not sure about the law. This is just an analogy to help you remember what Article 1166 is all about. It's about the accessories which are assumed to be given even though they're not specifically mentioned. Okay, so let's move on to Article 1167. If a person obliged to do something fails to do it, the same shall be executed at his cost. The same rule shall be observed if he does it in contravention of the tenor of the obligation. Furthermore, it may be decreed that what has been poorly done be undone. So if Article 1166 is about the assumptions given about accessories, Article 1167 is about the consequence of not doing an obligation. So for example, if I have an obligation to you to teach you Cobla 1, but I, in exchange for money and I fail to do it, then if, by common sense, you wouldn't be giving me money. Right? So Article 1167 is about what draws the line of if you do not fulfill an obligation, then you will not be receiving the benefits. And it says here, it may be decreed that what has been poorly done be undone. So for example, if I teach you Kobla 1, but I just don't care at all, I'm just saying it word for word, I just want to get it over with, you can technically say that I did not fulfill my obligation. Because as a teacher, my obligation is to make sure that you understand it well and that you're able to do good on your quiz, right? So when I am teaching you without a proper mindset of wanting to do it well, it can be contended that I'm doing it poorly, okay? So that is Article 1167. And one more thing to note, this, this same rule should be observed if it does it in contravention of the tenor of the obligation. So what does contravention mean? It just means not doing it properly. It means doing it either out of spite or doing it wrongly. So let's say I have an obligation to teach you, but instead of teaching you, I just talked to you about the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 movie. Does that count as teaching you? Even though I promised you that I'll be teaching you in this video? No. It's about sticking through true with what is required and making sure that you fulfill it. If you do not stick to what is needed, then you can lose out on the benefits. So I can lose out on being paid if that is the agreement. And instead of teaching you, I talk about Cartes of the Galaxy. Okay. So next is Article 1168. The last article we'll be talking about today is talking about when the obligation consists in not doing and the obliger does what has been forbidden him, it shall also be undone at his expense. This is very related to Article 1167. It is just, in a way, a converse. Is it a converse or a contraposition? Whatever, I, I say those things so I can sound smart. So it just says, if you, don't, if you do something that you're not supposed to do, you will not get the benefit of doing it, of not doing it. So if your mom tells you, don't wear shoes inside the house, but you do it, then you're in for some consequences. So Article 1168 is just like a little brother of 1167. It's 1167 is about the picture in your head. It's about being lazy. It's about not doing what you're required to do. But Article 1168, it's about being a rebel. It's about 
you can't tell me what to do. I'm going to do it. You can't tell me what not to do. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. Okay. So article 1166, just a summary. Article 1166 is about the assumptions. If there is an accessory, it should be assumed that it should be delivered. Article 1167 is if you're not supposed to do something, if you're supposed to do something, go ahead and do it. Don't do something else. And Article 1168 is if you're not supposed to do something, make sure you don't do it or else you're going to suffer the consequences. See, very com much common sense in these three articles. And when we look back, it's this chapter is called Nature and Effects of an Obligation. These are the effects of the obligation. And this is also a nature of an obligation. Okay, so I hope that clarified things that you're able to learn three more articles today. And let me know if there was any misunderstanding, if there's any way that I could improve in teaching.